So let me just begin by saying that everything that they taught you is wrong. You learned from a bad teacher, and she's failed you. They got it backwards. It's not the team that makes the person. It's the person that makes the team. If you begin with the team and you exclude the individual, then you will fail. And you look for somebody who wants to do well and is pursuing his individual talent to be the best that he can be, then you end up with a good team. Anybody want to challenge that these guys don't act individually first? I, I don't think so. This is a picture of a Chick-fil-A that was opening, and you can see the line. People were camping out to have a chance to go to Chick-fil-A. They are producing the leaders of tomorrow today. Their greeting is personal and wonderful. We're having a great day at Chick-fil-A. Every store, every time. And they mean it. And it pays off in a big way for them. If you say thank you to somebody at Chick-fil-A, their response is, it's my pleasure. So these are the kinds of things that have made this company uh, what it is today, and it's why people wait in line and camp out to go there. What we're going to do to make sure that we greet people at TimeWise is we're going to do this. TimeWise, we're glad you're here. Let's uh, make sure that we greet people. The communication part of our business relationship with our customers and with each other is everything. We have a great story to tell at TimeWise. It's the place people should want to shop. So we're bigger than we used to be, bigger than ever. So we need to communicate better than ever. What TimeWise Radio Network does is it gives us the ability to communicate with our customers daily. You're in, you're out, you're happy. Yes! It must be TimeWise. And this... Must be Time Wise Radio. Summer after high school when we first met. The one that got away. The one that got away. Katie Berry on Time Wise Radio. Now, look, we know how frustrating this could be. So, if this ever happens, you're in the mood to eat one of our delicious ballpark franks, you go to the grill, and it's empty. We want to tell you something. That's not the TimeWise way. Sorry about that. So if it happens, our manager will give you a TimeWise buck that you can use in the store as soon as you're ready. It's just the way we do things here because you deserve the TimeWise difference. We're TimeWise. We're Texas. And we're glad you're here. And this is TimeWise Radio. I am. TimeWise. I am. TimeWise. I am. I am time wise. And I am likable, adorable, remarkable, and full of smiles. I am accounting. I am time wise. I am Ryan Spillane, and I am a merchandising master. I am that operator and that analyzer, and I'm going to take it out because I am time wise. I am Sunny Talji, and I am accepting the challenge. I'm marketing, and it's all about me. I am DSD marketing, and I am time wise. And I am a problem solver. I am an achiever. I am creative and I think outside of the box. I am training. I am time wise. I am operations. I am time wise. I am Kevin Duty and I'm tired of our competitors. I am the I am. And what we think an I am identity is, is one who improves the work environment. One who improves customer service, accepts any challenge put forth. We've talked about this earlier. One who thinks outside of the box. And one who offers no excuses to their performance. Being average is not going to be good enough to be an IM in the operations department. They are going to have to be above and beyond. Because I feel that I am the I am. And I don't think it's cockiness, I think it's confidence. And that's what we're gonna be looking at from our employees. 
confidence and the ability to do the job. We're going to be pledged today with the I Am vision that we are going to be the difference that people have been waiting for. If, if you want that customer to go in and identify there at a time wise, then you better be prepared to make that a positive uh, experience, correct? But I will stop a minute and I will tell you a little story. It's fictitious, the people aren't real, the story's not true. But it has a lot of meaning in what I do, okay? So, <laughs> Pat and Mike take a camping trip up in the mountains. They're going to stay overnight. They get up in the morning. They're excited about going on their hike. They're sitting around a uh, campfire, drinking coffee. Pat looks down the trail and he says, Mike, there's a grizzly bear coming right at us. Mike reaches down, starts putting his shoes on real quick. Pat says, what are you doing? You can't outrun a grizzly bear. He says, I don't have to. I just have to outrun you. <laughs> All right? <laughs> 